Mic check one two one two. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tank Be Chopping, and I'm back with another haircut tutorial. Alright guys, so as you can see, my client has dreads on top. I want to make sure I clip that out the way. That way I don't cut off a dread or take, you know, take that off. So I clip that out the way. I'm taking my comb and I'm just going to go ahead and comb through my client's uh, hair. Making sure I'm combing all this hair out. That way I can actually see what the hair is doing. See how it looks once I actually comb it out and see how much hair I need to cut off. So now I'm taking my uh, Stylecraft Instinct. I do have my two my number two on the clipper and as you can see my lever is open and I'm just taking the sides down to that length that's about the length we're gonna keep it at I am gonna come with a 1.5 with the grain just to get that longer hair towards the top of where the shorter hair meets the dreads make sure I get that all down so you know a nice looking length so now here's my 1.5 guard uh, lever is closed and I'm coming with the grain making sure that I get all that down and make sure that it looks nice and as you can see, I'm continuing to comb my client's hair down because the hair does want to curl up. So you want to make sure that you comb that down so you can actually see basically the length that the hair is at and the way that it's laying down once you actually do cut it down with that length. And I know your boy's been MIA for a minute when it comes to doing these haircut tutorials. I just been dropping dip, uh, different style content for y'all, so I really hope that y'all appreciating that. But we finna get back to the tutorials, man. Like I said, it's been a good minute, but I'm trying to get back into the groove of recording these tutorials just so I can put out, you know, different style content for y'all. All right, so now that I got the sides down, what I'm doing here is I'm going over the front of my client's lineup with the 1.5 with the grain. That's basically just so I can see the lineup a little better and so it's not just a lot of hair going everywhere. So here is, I believe this is my 1.5 lever open and now I'm just blending until what I did previously. As you can see, I am using the corner of the clipper, the corner of the guard, the corner of the blade, whatever you wanna say. And I'm just cleaning all that up just to make sure that it blends nicely. And as you saw me do right there, I did just close my lever all the way. And I'm basically coming right below what I previously did. So I'm doing a little bit of that down fading technique that I like to use when I start to start off my haircuts. Uh, you don't need to do this, but I like to do it because it makes my job a little easier. Because now I know that I really only need to blend into my 1.5. All right, so now I'm taking my Stylecraft Sabres. I'm setting in my initial bald guideline. And as you can see, I'm doing it in like a triangle type shape. And the reason for that is just to uh, leave some of that length in the C cup area. That way I can line that up. And now I'm following that up with the shaver, getting it nice and bald. Now I'm going in with my clipper lever open, setting in another section, still trying to keep that same shape. Now I know you're not gonna be able to keep this same shape, you know, 100% perfect and nice, and that's totally fine, but you just wanna try to keep, you know, similar of the shape of what you're doing. And so I went up about three quarters of an inch, and then I closed my lever halfway, worked my way halfway into the section, closed my lever one notch, went right below that, and then I closed it all the way to start attacking that bottom line. Now I'm going in with my one guard lever open, Using a slight flick out motion, just really trying to blend this into the work that I already did. Just so like I said, I don't gotta do too much steps. And once that is done, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close my lever, as you saw me do right there, and I'm gonna come right below what I just did with my one guard lever open. And as you can see, I'm using a brush now just to help brush this hair down. You can use a brush or a comb, but when the hair is short, uh, shorter, I like to use a brush. But uh, now I'm going in with my zero guard or my half guard, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you know, you can start off with your lever halfway open or all the way open. Do some small detail work and then close it as needed. And now what I'm doing here is I'm coming with the grain. Once again, I am using my 1.5 guard. Taking all that down, just cleaning it up a little more, make sure that it looks basically the way I'm trying uh, to make it look now I know this blend isn't a hundred percent there yet but I'm gonna go ahead and move up to the lineup move on to the lineup so I started off in the middle of my client's head set in my initial guideline and now I'm working my way over little by little until I get to that vertical bar and then we're gonna hit that vertical bar try to make it nice and sharp 
and now we're gonna hit that C cup and I do want to apologize for the video being a little blurry right here I was trying some new stuff with my camera I was moving from from auto uh, auto focus to manual focus so my bad I, I, it was my bad but we're gonna get it right on the next one but now as y'all can see I'm hitting that C cup for my client making sure he's got a nice curve and it's not too too dark of a C cup but I am gonna come back later in and add some enhancements to that but now I'm going back in and doing some more uh, some more detail work I believe this is my 1.5 guard closed doing some cleanup work because that blend isn't where I want it to be yet I still need you know there's still some discrepancies in there it doesn't look as clean as I would like it so I went in with my 1.5 guard here is my one guard lever open using the corner of my blade remember guys when you're using when you're doing detail work you really want to use the corner it just makes it a lot easier to be more precise with certain spots you're trying to hit and now I'm going in with my half guard lever open first and then I'm adjust it closed as needed to get that blend where I want it and remember guys when it comes to detailing you can detail as much as you feel you need to you can detail the whole haircut like go over all your steps again or just use the half guard or whatever you feel is necessary now I'm going in with just my clipper no guard lever open adjusting my lever closed little by little basically doing some lever play So now that that is done, I'm going to go ahead and line up my client behind the ear. And once again, I do want to apologize for this video not being the, the clearest in certain spots. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to get it right on the next video. But we're hitting up that uh, the line over my client's uh, ear and behind the ear. Just getting a nice little sharp line. And we're going to take all that off. And then I'm going to go back and detail some more. Now, I'm not sure if this is my 2 guard or my 1.5 guard. I'm pretty sure it's my 1.5 guard, but I'm not 100% sure. But the reason why I went back and detailed it some more is it wasn't there yet. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to detailing, once, once again, guys, like you can do whatever you feel is necessary to get that haircut to come together. So if you need to detail more than once, feel free. And uh, I just felt that I needed to hit it with the 1.5 guard one more time. And now I'm going in with my clipper, just adjusting my lever as needed. And now I feel that that blend is looking a little more the way I want it to look. Here's my zero guard. And now that that is done, I'm going to do the same exact thing to the opposite side. So I'm not going to really talk too much on this side of the haircut. I'm going to talk a little bit, but I'm not going to be walking y'all through everything I'm doing. Uh, but what I'm doing here is basically just debulking the sides. Like I did on the opposite side, I, uh, this is my two and a half guard with my two guard lever open, cleaning all that up. And then I'm going to come with the grain with my 1.5 guard, clean all that up. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side, guys. As you can see, I am taking that 1.5 guard with the grain, making sure that I uh, clean up the front of my client's edge up. And now I'm going to go ahead and set in my initial bald guideline, still in a triangle, semi semi-circle type shape. But like I said earlier, guys, I know I've been a little MIA from these haircut tutorials, uh, but we, we're trying to get back to it, man. People have been asking me for tutorials. I've been busy doing unboxings, you know what I'm saying, reviews, all that other stuff, you know what I'm saying? But we still going to get back to doing the tutorials. I know that's something that I really built my channel on was tutorials and unboxings. So I'm trying to get back to that, you know what I'm saying? And if y'all are interested in, in any of these tools that you see your boy using, I am using the StyleCraft Instinct. You can go to uh, StyleCraftUS.com. Um, purchase the instinct i think they're on pre-order because i'm pretty sure that they sold out again but you can pre-order this uh for the next time that they do uh, decide to release it and you can use my discount code tank 10 just so you can save yourself a little bit of money you know what i'm saying and uh this is the stylecraft saber that i'm using on the lineups i just like the way the saber hits man like to in my opinion this the gold blade on that saber is just it's, it's probably one of the best blades that stylecraft and gamma have came out with so i like to use the stylecraft uh but now we're gonna move on to doing some enhancements as you can see i am using my sean cuts hair enhancement card i do have a discount code so if you want to cop an, uh, an enhancement card go to seancutshair.com use my discount code tank be chopping you get you know a small percentage off of your purchase but as y'all can see i am using the temptation uh hair enhancements and the reason why i'm using this is i broke my gun again all my guns been breaking man but i broke my gun so i just been using this and it works pretty good man but after we hit them up with them enhancements not too much just to make it look nice and sharp we're gonna go ahead and use that 245 barber pencil and you can't cop this uh barber pencil from 245.com use my discount code tank10 at 245.com save yourself some money you know what i'm saying and then once we put that pencil on there we gotta make sure we blend that out so i'm using my trimmer to go ahead and blend that out a little more 
And then once I blend this out with my trimmer, we're gonna go ahead and hit them with that razor just to get this line super, super sharp and really make this haircut pop. So now we're using the razor, making sure that we stretch that skin, you know what I'm saying? Make sure that we keep that skin tight and we keep that blade as flat as we can keep it. That way we lessen the chance of nicking your client. Cause you can't nick your client, that's obviously not something you wanna do. So you wanna make sure that you stress that skin. All right, man, so check it out. This is how my boy came into the shop looking. This is the before look. And this is the after. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this haircut in the comment section. If y'all like this video, please make sure to smash that like button. Also, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe one time for your boy. Remember, guys, if you're in the Houston, Texas area and you want a haircut with your boy, you can go to my website. If you want a haircut with your boy, if you want a haircut from your boy, I messed that up. But if you want a haircut from your boy, you can go to my website, tanbechopping.com. You can book there. I have everything you need to know on my website. Also, if you like these tools that I'm using, once again, I am using StyleCraft tools. So you can go to the StyleCraft website, StyleCraft us.com use my discount code 1010 and we'll save yourself some money you know what i'm saying but um, yeah man it's basically it for this video hope y'all like this video hope y'all like the cut let me know what you think about this cut in the comment section y'all know what it is man i try to respond to all my comments and also i got barbers tees and hoodies on my website check that out tankbechopping.com but it's basically it youtube i appreciate y'all for watching until next time did i say my subscribe to your boy i don't even know yet but if you like this video smash that like button and if you're new to my channel Y'all know what it is, man. Subscribe one time for your boy. Let's get it. But I appreciate y'all until watching. I, see, I'm already messing up. I appreciate y'all for watching. Until next time, let's go.